Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and as you see, I've done the surgery that I mentioned to you in the previous video and this is the proof. I look so ugly. What is it? What is even this thing? It's some kind of blue, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. Why did they put glue on my forehead? What happened is I came here at 7 a.m., waited for five hours. They take me to surgery at 12, and it's 5 a.m., I guess. 5 p.m. now, I guess. What's the time, Nisha? It's uh, nearly 6, 5 to 6. Okay, it's 6 now. And um, I didn't eat anything. I really wanted to eat yogurt when the nurse came to take my order like a waiter. She asked what I want and I said, okay, there's a yogurt, let's bring yogurt and let me show you what they brought as yogurt in a hospital. Can you pass me my yogurt? Here you go. Look, they brought me strawberry yogurts. It's like, bro, we are in hospital. You are supposed to give me healthy stuff, not a German made full of sugar fake yogurt and how much protein does it even have where are the nutrition facts there is no even nutrition facts on that maybe there is not even enough protein thank you is it just me or am i just so picky i don't know yeah you are picky so what they've done my throat is hurting what they've done is i have one two three and four holes they put sticks on me and fix my two hernias I assume they fix it, we'll see in a couple of days. Under the effect of painkillers, so I don't feel much pain. And I'm going to update you how I feel when I actually go home. And when the painkillers are not effective anymore. But this is me, after my surgery, and we still have some gains. How do you feel, Hakton? Amazing. <laughs> oh, let me show you my cuts. Oh, we really want to see them. Trigger warning. Trigger warning, X sign. I'm going to shut my eyes. So guys, as you see, I have four cuts. One, two, three, and four. I feel like it's not a very painful surgery. I had no excessive pain in any of my laparoscopic surgeries. And whoop, 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 whoop. Was that my fault? I'm not sure, but I'm happy that we didn't hit anyone. I'm not sure if I don't have pain because of the painkillers or the surgery is slowed down so Thank you. This surgery is actually not a painful surgery. And we'll see when we arrive home and eat a couple of stuff, I guess. And we are in day two of my post-surgery. I wanted to talk to you about my night. In the past, I had multiple surgeries and I know how much painful a surgery can be. I remember in my first surgeries, I was not able to sleep because of the pain. I had to constantly take painkillers. But in this surgery, which is laparoscopic surgery, I don't really have much pain. When I lay down, I don't feel anything as long as I don't move, which is a good thing. And right now, as you see, I'm able to sit and I'm perfectly fine. Yeah, I feel a little bit pain, but it's all good. I can even stand up slowly. Ooh, maybe it's not a good idea to stand up and talk, but my point is it's a, it's an easy surgery. If I have to work, I can even work tomorrow. Right now, the level of my mobility is I can go to the toilet, kitchen, all by myself. If I have to cook, I can even cook. If I have to work, I can even work on my computer. And I think I'm going to work on my computer because I'm bored extremely. And um, that's it. I'm trying to not cough, not wake up this surgery area so it can recover. And that's actually all. And there's no blood. There's no nothing. And I'm going to see you on my third day. And welcome back to day three. I'm in hospital again <laughs> because something happened after my surgery. So right now my upper body is elevated. And just after my surgery, I was right laying down in this position and I told to the nurse, I need to go to the toilet, can you lower the bed? And she said, okay. And then she dropped this part suddenly down rather than taking it slowly down. And I squeezed my abs as a reflex and I had a very sharp pain in like one certain point. And I told that to the nurse, they didn't do anything. That pain continued and day three, the pain is higher than ever. That's why I came back to hospital and they said, okay, we'll do a scan. But right now, every second that I don't press like that, uh, it hurts. What I think is the stitch they made for 
mesh and muscle might be damaged maybe i don't know because it's like one very particular point and day four of my recovery today is better than any other day yesterday was my first good day after spending the night in hospital i assume when i was getting up from the bed i was triggering my wound and it was making me pain but the hospital beds are like bendable and they are much more comfortable i think spending one night in the hospital bed helped me a lot and right now i found a way to make my bed look like a hospital bed so i don't really feel pain when i'm getting up so i want to show you the mobility of day four recovery and as you see i was working so on day four we can easily work i did like two hours work with little discomfort but of course i'm not able to move super quick and this is where we are guys i was thinking to go back to the gym on the day three well i was done right now i'm very happy to go to the toilet and come back you know what it sucks a lot because of the pain that i mentioned yesterday today is uh day five after surgery and the thing sucks is the fact that the nurse dropped my bed and my abs were flexed and it created a serious amount of issue this is a very simple surgery okay on day five you should be able to do all of your daily activities with like discomfort but you should be able to do all of these things however i am not able to do that getting up from bed takes five minutes and lots of pain and right now i need to stand up from this chair but i'm not able to in last two days the pain was getting better but today it just went back to normal i can't walk without pressing on that point that i showed you yesterday that's the point that i had pain when the nurse dropped me first and it is just not getting better and here we are the big day day seven of recovery i had my surgery on saturday and today's friday this is going to be my first working day i'm still in pain but at the same point it's still hurting i'm going to take my first drug classified medicine which is codeine day seven of inguinal hernia repairment surgery laparoscopically and i still have a sharp pain on one point here and my cuts are they're okay they're okay cuts are fine i am able to walk as long as i'm bent forward but i'm not able to straight stand straight and i'm not able to contract my core muscles it's going to be a crucial day because it's my first working day after here you'll see me hopefully back home and and not in a hospital and guess where we are because at the same point it still hurts because of the stupid nurse and it needs to be fixed because right now it has been seven days and i should be able to do all of my daily physical activities with ease but i'm not able to do all of my physical activities with very ease like even in the morning going to toilet it's still hard not hard impossible i don't go to toilets in the morning i just use a bottle so i need to fix that issue and this time i'm not going to let them discharge me with painkillers because painkillers do nothing and i need a solution I, I would be very happy if they do the surgery again because surgery's actual recovery process is like three days and i know it is going to be faster than trying to heal that stupid muscle tear i think it's muscle tear that's my mhgbt's opinion we'll see what's gonna happen day eight i'm still not very good and day eight of my recovery as you see i can't even carry a bag but i still have the pain in the same location what we can do i can only take the pain and continue my life because as i said i have to keep going so what happened in the hospital yesterday the doctor said i have a nerve damage and that's the reason i feel the pain and he's going to see me in two to three weeks and then i did a little bit of research and found out nerve damage can be healed by itself in weeks or months but that's a possibility it can heal by itself or they need to go in again do another surgery and cut out the nerve but in any way now i know what's happening 
and I know how to manage the pain. If I don't eat or drink anything, I don't have much pain. So right now it is 2.19 and I didn't eat anything yet. That's why I'm able to walk, carry bag. Yes, there's a discomfort and pain, but it's manageable. And probably I'll eat my meal around four or five every day when I get to home and when I can lay down and rest. And thanks for hanging around in this video until the end. Day eight and Hakan is back to life.